What's going on guys? Dustin right here. Hold on. Can you go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe? Keep following me. I love each and every one of you who give me your support. Today, we're going to get right into what you should do in your 20s that can get you to become a millionaire or successful in whatever you do later in life. Okay? And I want to touch on a couple of things because I know a lot of young business or entrepreneurs or uber successful kids like myself at heart are having a tough time getting to that next level. And let me tell you, you're not alone, okay? So I want to kind of clarify a couple things. It's not a race, okay? It's not a race. It's a marathon. And it takes a lot of time, learning, educating, failures, you know, it's not easy. I know when we look on our Instagram, there's always that 17 year old kid with a Rolex watch with diamonds and a Ferrari and a Lamborghini and you have these rappers that are 16, 17, making multi millions of dollars and these kids on YouTube that are just making the world seem so much smaller because it seems like everybody has a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or a Rolex and you know, something was told to me when I was younger by a very wise man who had quite a bit of money and he told me believe half of what you see and none of what you hear now take it with a grain of salt but a lot of things that you see on the internet portray that so-and-so is successful or so-and-so has those things guys you can only portray for so long the truth always comes out but to get to real real success you definitely have to hone in your skills. You have to find what you're good at and take that God-given talent and put it to good use. So I am here to tell you, it's okay. Keep looking at those Ferraris and Lamborghinis online and the Rolex watches with diamonds and Rolls Royces driving around because you're on your way. Keep that and use it as motivation instead of, you know, that, that throwing in the towel like, oh my goodness, I'm never going to make it. Now, those people that have those things, that have worked hard for them, I admire extremely because no one gave that to them. Even if they had a help in that first step, you got to understand that this is very hard work to get where we want to go in our life and what we imagine as success and how we see ourselves. So let's go over what I think and what I have studied in other successful people and the five important things to do in your 20s to prepare you to be successful and reap the enjoyments of it, okay? So starting from the top, what I was just touching base on was you cannot compare yourself to others. You can't compare yourself to the younger rappers or the, the kid that made it in Facebook advertising is a multi-millionaire now or you know, the kid on Instagram that you don't even know what he does but he has uh, a G-Wagon and an AMG Mercedes coupe, you know? So you can't put yourself and compare yourself to them because you don't know what they have. Their parents could be rich. You know, you, don't, you can't put yourself in their position because each person lives a completely different life than you. You just have to know where you're going. You gotta have your head focused on your path to get to the things that he or she may have. But never ever compare, okay? Because you have special skills that you can hone in on and be something that this person could never even touch. So that's very important, especially being young. I'm only 21. It's hard for me not to compare myself to others. I look at other people with these things that I want, you know, and I know one day I will have them because I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to stop pushing and fighting for the things I want and my goals in life because I only have one chance to do it. One day I'll die and I won't have that chance anymore. So I'm going to push as hard as I can to get to the things I want with all the time that I have. Now, the second thing, which I think is very important to find at an early age, you know, such as 20s, even 30s, but it's tough. It's very tough. I'm not going to say this one's easy. It's to choose a career and go all in. Thank goodness, you know, with my back surgery and, and the, the position in life I was in at 18, 19 years old, I got to sit back, look, and acknowledge exactly what I want to do the rest of my life. And that filled that bone in my body that, that needed to be fueled by success. And that was real estate. I became a real estate agent. Fast forward three years, here I am. So take the time 
to choose your career. And once you do choose that career, go all in. No matter what the circumstances are. Guys, I'm 21 years old. I got in this, this business at 18 years old, okay? 84% of realtors, even in that time, failed within a year and a half being in the business. That means they dropped out and never tried to sell a house again. I'm on year three. Last year, we sold just around $8 million in houses. Me and my team did, okay? So with that being said, if I listen to everybody that told me I shouldn't be a realtor, I'm too young, there's no way you can last in the business, I wouldn't be where I am today. Now, I'm not where I am happy, I am humbled by the experience, but there's so many more things I have to do. This is just my first plateau, is getting into the real estate business and becoming successful at it. There is so many more steps that I have to take and I have to hold myself accountable so I can reach my goals. But that is a very, very important one we all must know is what career we're gonna choose. And once we choose it, you have to go all in. Because if you don't give it your all, you're not gonna get out what you put in. You can't give 80% and get 100% out, okay? You have to give it your all and whatever you choose, okay? Now, this is another one people my age tend to get a little crazy with, you know, because we want the nice truck and the big rims or the sports car with the nice exhaust and the nice airbags to make it look sitting nice. I mean, I know it all. I love cars myself, but man, we know those car parts aren't cheap. We know those truck rims aren't cheap. So this is the biggest thing, and it's tough for me myself. I'm young. I love nice things. To pay attention to your finances. You cannot overextend yourself when you're younger. Just because Shelby has the new Jeep or George got a new Louis Belt with the matching shoes. You, you can't follow those people and just say, oh, uh, uh, I'll get it. Hey, we'll figure out how to pay later. Because those are what hold you back from making that next step. Because you're always going to need a little bit of money in the bank for security, for whatever the case may be, for health reasons. You cannot overextend your, extend yourself for self-pleasure, okay? You have to pay attention to your finances. You have to make sure your money's in order. It doesn't matter what job you have. If you work at McDonald's and you only get $8 an hour and you work 40, 50 hours a week, you can't spend all the money that you made from one paycheck before you get paid to the next. Then you're just chasing your tail. You're not getting anywhere. You're not, you're not gonna do anything other than go to work and come back and work every single day to get a couple dollars that you want, you're not gonna have by the time the next paycheck comes around. So that's very, very important is to get your finances together when you're young. So by the time you're older, your finances are taken care of, your career is chosen, you're all in on it, and you have no idea what anybody else is doing because you're so focused on what you're doing and where you're going. Now, the fourth one, do not dwell on the past experiences. If I dwelled on the past experiences of my life, I would not make it anywhere. I would be in fetal position in the corner somewhere, sobbing to myself, saying, why me? But why would I do that when that gets me nowhere? It doesn't get me any further ahead than where I am right now. And I can't speak for you guys. I can't say the hurt that you've had and the pain that you've gone through. I can't say it's easy to get over, but I do know no matter what the pain is, no matter what it is that you're dwelling on, whether it be a relationship, a death, a financial mistake that bankrupted you in every plane you ever had, as long as you're still breathing, walking, and talking, you guys are going to be okay. Everything can be okay as long as you keep pushing forward. The time you get defeated, that's when no longer you're going to have progression. You're no longer going to grow. You're no longer going to have the ambition. So no matter what it is in the past, Use that hate, that anger, that the sadness. Use that and fuel it towards what your passion is, towards what you're doing as a career, so you can go all in at it. Because if you're not all in, it might be something that you're dwelling on in the past, okay? That's something to think about. Because in life, there's crazy situations that sometimes it's hard to get over. But uh, last but not least, what I want to touch on is stay far away from get rich quick schemes, okay? I see it all the time. Who wants to make an extra thousand dollars a month? All you have to do is sign up here. 
Did you know you could make an extra $500 a week doing this? You can be rich doing this. 30 seconds, two days, I made $20 million. If, if something sounds too good to be true, typically it's not true. And how many times have you heard this? I mean, this is going on years and years. It's a new scheme. It's a new trick now. I mean, guys, if money was easy to make, don't you think everybody would be rich? So keep in mind, every time one of those little schemes comes by you and you're like, wow, that would be great. I'm sure it would be great. But the possibilities of you reaping any reward other than the person that's advertising the product for a get rich quick scheme, is it going to plan out? A hundred times out of a hundred times for you to make your money back and make it profitable. Now, give or take, there are systems out there I'm sure are profitable, but all that I've been in touch with, all the get rich quick schemes under a month, under three months, how you're going to make this money, triple your income. Guys, if it doesn't sound true, it probably is not. Do your research, look into things, make sure before you make a decision, you look at every possible outcome. Guys, because what's the real goal here? We're trying to be 100% in everything we do and every way we move.